When you meet someone who lives the consecrated life in the church, some say you catch a glimpse of heaven, and that's exactly what should happen. For when men or women profess and live poverty, chastity, and obedience for the sake of Jesus and his church, their very lives radiate something of heaven. They radiate Christ. While every baptized person is called to be holy and to follow Jesus as a faithful disciple, the consecrated person is called to live a life of deeper union with and closer imitation of Jesus. He was the consecrated one, the missionary of the Father sent into the world, who embraced poverty, chastity, and obedience, and proposed just such a life to his disciples. So if someone has a vocation to the consecrated life, their vocation is to live more evidently the poverty of Jesus, who, though rich, made himself poor for our sake, offering himself completely to the Father. Their vocation is to live more evidently the chastity of Jesus, who gave up the love of spouse and children so his love might belong to the Father alone. Their vocation is to live more evidently the obedience of Jesus, who emptied himself and became obedient even unto death, death on a cross, so to fulfill the will of the Father. God has sown the life-giving seeds of poverty, chastity, and obedience in the church. These branch out like a great tree in all the various forms of consecrated life, lived out in solitude or in community. These include hermits, consecrated virgins and widows, religious men and women, and those in secular institutes. Whatever form their consecration takes, these priests, deacons, sisters, brothers, and lay faithful are real missionaries and witnesses to the gospel. They radiate the Jesus who prays, teaches, preaches, feeds, consoles, and heals. All the baptized are called in such a way that others might recognize Jesus. But the Lord calls some of us to imitate him even more visibly in poverty, chastity, and obedience. If you think he might be calling you to the consecrated life, ask for the grace to accept the call to radiate Christ. Because the church and the world are always in need of a glimpse of heaven.